Hi, this is Simon, and this is just a little quickie throwing together a simple format synthesizer in Reactor. More so than making a real polished synthesizer, what we want to do here is demonstrate how formats come together to make vowel sounds. Formats are points of spectral resonance from the human vocal tract. We're going to create these formats using resonant filters. If we're going to make these formats using filters, we need something to filter. So let's start by putting that generator together. Delete my inputs. I'm going to put them in a macro. Let's make a macro here, and let's call this Generators. And then go inside my macro. Again, we're going to create these sounds by filtering, so let's add a sawtooth wave, built-in module, oscillator, sawtooth. Let's add some noise, built-in module, oscillator, noise. Let's make a note pitch MIDI in, and also a gate MIDI in, to control both of these. Gate goes to the A's, note pitch goes to the P's. We need a way to take these signals and mix them together. Let's add an amp mixer, built-in module, signal path, amp mixer. Drag it over. Hold down Command when I drag it over. Name my levels, Create Control, Saw. Right-click, Create Control, Noise. Uh, just because I know it'll make things sound a little bit better, I'm going to cheat a bit and do something we haven't done before. I'm going to add an LFO. Let's take our note pitch here, built-in module, math, add. Run the note pitch into that add, and run it out to the P there. We're going to use an LFO to create vibrato, so let's build that LFO, built-in module, LFO envelope, LFO. We'll spend a lot more time talking about LFOs later, but for now, let's just create a control for the A, and a control for the F, and then wire up the triangle into this add here. Very briefly, the LFO generates a control signal that's constantly going up and down from negative 1 to 1. By adding that to the note pitch, the note that we're playing on the keyboard, we can get some vibrato. Let's rename these, though, frequency. Let's call this vib rate, vib for vibrato, vib depth for the amplitude. Okay, built-in module, terminal, out. Bink. Back to our ensemble level. Let's add our polyphony now. Built-in module. Auxiliary. Audio voice combiner. In. To the outs. Click on the background. Properties. Again, I clicked on the background, so this is the ensemble. We'll set the ensemble voices to B4. All right, you can start hitting keys if you want. It should work, because we've got it all wired up. But let's clean up our panel here. Lock it down. That sounds terrible. Let's turn this these both down. A little bit of noise, a lot less depth. I find a good LFO rate for vibrato is around 6 hertz, somewhere between 6 and 8 hertz. I've got a little low here, but I don't mind it. Once again, the depth, if I go all the way to 1 here, I mean, that can be a useful vibrato. That's kind of an old-fashioned organ sound. Something a little bit more s subtle with that can be nice. Okay. So what we have now is a very rich spectrum combining noise and a sawtooth wave, which has lots of harmonics. So we have something that's going to be really nice to filter. So now, let's add our macro. And we'll call it formant. Oops, not fromant. Formant Bank. 
The reason I'm calling it a format bank is because we're going to need three formants in order to effectively make a vowel sound. Let's go inside. This is our modifier, so we're going to need a import, terminal import, and we're going to need a built-in module, terminal outport. For my resonant filter, I'm going to use this filter that's called the Pro 52. There are probably other filters that you could use, but I like this because it's a resonant filter and I've used this before and it's effective. So again, we need three formats, Command D, Command D. And then we wire out this input to the inputs. We wire the output to the outputs. Of course, that's not working because we need to just combine them. Built-in module, signal path, amp mixer. Now, I'm going to do something a little bit different here. Usually, we create controls for this mixer, but let's assume we want all of our formats coming in at the same level. So instead of creating a control, I'm going to create a constant. I'm going to create a constant for all of these. Because I'm a little worried about it being too loud if I mix them all at zero. Remember, our mixer is looking for numbers zero, meaning no attenuation, and then negative numbers. Let's mix them all at negative three decibels. This is kind of an arbitrary number, and so I might find that I want a different number later on, but let's just start with this. Next, let's add controls for all of the Fs. This is the frequency, and this is where we're going to put the formats. Again, calling them all F cutoff isn't going to be so great, so let's call this form formant1, formant2, whoops, having a bad spelling day today, formant3. And then lastly, I want to create a constant for the resonance, but I don't want it to be zero, I want the resonance to be high, so let's set this at 0 0.95, very high. Let's use that for the moment. I'm actually going to take this 0 0.95 and then run it into all these resonances. So actually this is kind of the same as doing this, right? I could take one negative three and run it into all of those, and so that, this is the same thing here. Okay. Wire this in. And now we're all hooked up. Let's go here, move over my format bank, lock it down. And if I play keys, I'm getting a whole bunch of nothing. Let's straighten out these knobs too. That's because all of these formats are currently set to be zero. Okay, so we can hear those resonant filters, but we don't hear vowel sounds yet, right? Which is our goal. So let's hop over to the repository for all human knowledge, Wikipedia. All right, so let's start with the first one here. It's bot. So we have a, a format at 570 Hertz, 840, 2410. I'm going to set this up so I can peek at that while I do this. So, actually, if I put 570 in here, it's not going to work, because I need to go over to Function. Let's go here, uh, and let's have a look at what we want to do for these ranges. According to this chart, the highest one is 3010, so let's set the max of all of these to be 3010. And then let's set the step size of all of them to be 10, instead of 50. And that way we'll be able to adjust them how we want. All right. So again, back to bot. 570. 840. And 2410. That's a pretty good awe sound. So again, we've got three points of resonance that work together to make that vowel sound. Let's go over and make that a preset, 
add. I'm just gonna write OU as my shorthand. Enter. So now I can add OO, which is gonna be format at 300, 870, and 2240. Ooh. So now we can go to all. I've got a bit of clipping in there when I play chords. Let's skip down to one that's a little bit more distinct. There we go. How about bat? So again, bat has a format at 660 hertz, at 1720 hertz and 2410 hertz. That's the same one there. Add eh. So here we go. Ooh. Okay, how about let's do one more. Uh, OE is a good one for beat. 270, 2290, 3010. Add E. So I could go through and add all these, but this is pretty great. All we've done here again, oh, and generate drawers. Oh, let's rename that. Generators. All we have is we have a rich spectrum with a sawtooth and noise that goes into this format bank. All that format bank is is three filters. Three resonant filters that are resonating at different frequencies. The resonance is very high at those frequencies, but then we manually set what those three frequencies are, mix them together. Again, since I was complaining about that sound clipping when I played chords, I could set this to negative nine instead. And see if that fixes it. That sounds pretty great. Here's A. And then I just look at the chart and I grab what those formats are for those vowel sounds. Again, these are English vowel sounds. And so if we were doing different languages, we'd probably call upon different sets of formats. And then I can set those all as presets. And then I can have all of these vowel sounds that I can go through. Since I've made this format bank a macro, there's nothing stopping me from copying this and pasting it into new ensembles and applying it to different generators. All right, that's all I got. Have fun. Enjoy. Enjoy.